हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मोरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नरेटर रवि गुप्ता इन टुडे वीडियो वी गॉन टॉक अबाउट गैस इंजन दैट व्हाट इज अ गैस एडमिशन इंजन एंड हाउ दिस गैस एडमिशन इंजन वर्क एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट विच साइकिल बेसिकली दिस गैस एडमिशन इंजन फॉलो विच ऑटो और डीजल एंड आफ्टर दैट we will see that what we can do in order to reduce the knocking of the gas engine and how the knock is lowered in a gas engine before beginning the video we want to tell you that we marine engineering hub make video regarding the marine engineering from basic to advanced level for various topic like boiler fire fighting and crankshaft and regarding many more if you want to know please visit our playlist you will find the thing and if you want to know about this specific topic you can visit the video section and please those who are new to this channel please do share and subscribe to our channel so before begin the video let me tell you that i have made a video regarding the gas this is in today video we going to talk about gas admission engine but if you want to know the gas injection engine then i have already made the video you can find in a playlist so let's begin the today video that what is a gas engine what do i mean by the gas admission engine so basically gas admission engine is a low pressurized engine work on a principle of auto second so it's very clear that gas admission engine work on a principle of auto second so let's let's see that how this happen so what is happening first that when the piston this is a piston okay this is the micro booster injection valve this is the exhaust valve and this is the safe gas admission valve so what is happening so basically what is happening that here when the piston is at bdc at that time the scavenge port will be open when the scavenge port will open the air will come inside and when the piston will move up just covering the scavenge port at that time the safe gas admission valve will inject the gas as the gas will be injected inside the cylinder space when the piston is moving up it will mix up with the air and the gas will mix up with the air and form a gas air mixture when the piston reaches the tdc at that time what happened the micro booster injection valve inject when it inject the injection the combustion takes place and as the combustion takes place is move down so basically means now the question come to our mind that how it is different from the diesel cycle so what is happening basically as you can see in diesel cycle the diesel is injected when it is at tdc the air mixture is only been compressed up to a temperature and when the diesel is injected at that time it reaches the auto ignition temperature and it ignite and power stroke takes place but here the gas is injected when the piston just cover the scavenge port and is moving up so that the gas and air mixture is formed and after that this micro booster injection valve is injecting a very small percentage of diesel engine so that in order to make sure that a sufficient temperature is been reached for the combustion to take place it means that the micro booster injection valve this injection valve is not a primary fuel component the primary fuel component is the safe gas admission valve which is injecting the gas so this is only assisting the combustion and this is the main component which is injecting the combustion so basically so here the gas is the main component and the micro booster injection valve is a component which is helping into assist the ignition so this is how this gas admission engine works so basically it's the same as a diesel engine cycle scavenging gas admission ignition and combustion so let us see what we have written here in a gas admission engine scavenge air is drawn into a cylinder as the piston perform a downward expanding motion toward the bottom dead center so this is it next gas admission valve admit the fuel gas 
as the piston travel upward in the cylinder pilot oil ignites the premixed air filled gas mixture and combustion start okay and the combustion starts now as compared to the diesel engine power output of auto cycle is less so what i have told you in the first line is that this gas admission engine work on a principle of auto cycle so it is very clear that this gas admission engine is working on a principle of auto cycle and gas pressurized injection work on a principle of a diesel cycle so now the question come to our mind that which one is more efficient so basically diesel engine cycle is more efficient than the auto cycle okay and therefore the power output of auto cycle is less so if anybody tell you that which engine gas injection engine or gas admission engine which engine have a more efficiency so of course the thermal efficiency of a gas injection engine will be much more than the gas admission engine as the fuel and the air mixes in the cylinder during the compression stroke it increases the risk of misfire and pre ignition of a air fuel gas mixer the risk of pre ignition increases when the fuel is mixed in the entire swept volume of the engine where pressure and temperature can support ignition so what is happening the main the biggest problem of the gas admission engine is the knocking so knocking is the biggest problem which is occurring in a gas admission engine and in order to avoid that in order to avoid that what is happening as you can see in this diagram this is the knocking area and this is the misfiring area means if we compress in this a region the knocking will take place and if it happen in this region a misfiring will take place so you have very close window in which the proper combustion will take place this window is called operating window so if we operate in this window region then we can avoid both knocking and misfiring okay and this is the graph showing the knock emission and this is the graph showing the thermal efficiency the question comes in the mind the first question is that the why knocking is taking place so knocking is taking place because of this pre mixture the mixture of a gas and air which is been mixed during the compression stroke at that time some of them is supporting the ignition and therefore it is getting pre ignited to prevent this from happening what we are doing we are operating the micro booster injection valve in a particular operating window and also the safe gas admission valve this safe gas admission valve is injecting the gas in a particular operating window period so let's see first that what is we mean by operating window so the if the question is asked that how we reduce the knocking and what we can do in a gas admission engine so you you will say that we will operate it in a particular operating window where we will avoid the knocking and misfiring so let's see to increase the combustion stability significantly a narrow engine operating window can be introduced this narrow engine operating window is the safe gas admission valve which is basically taking the principle of gas admission in a particular window period in which it is avoiding the knocking and misfiring what do i mean by safe gas admission valve is basically this is the safe gas admission valve which is actuating the gas admission only in a particular period of time and this particular period of time of actuating is avoiding the knocking and misfiring how this work we will see in the upcoming video now the operating window give a reliable control of a combustion process and in particular air fuel gas ratio the window reduces the compression ratio and mean effective pressure to avoid pre ignition so what we are doing we this window this window is particularly is reducing the compression ratio and also the mean effective pressure so that which avoid the pre ignition which result in a lower thermal efficiency compared to the diesel cycle and therefore it has a lower 
thermal efficiency so if anybody asks you that why the lower thermal efficiency for the auto cycle and how it is avoiding knocking so this will be the answer so what we are doing we are operating in a particular window in which we are reducing the compression issue and we are reducing the mean effective pressure which help in avoiding the pre ignition combustion and maximum pressure will be reduced and thermodynamically this influence the maximum power output and the engine efficiency okay now how this is helping in the knock because if you can see this diagram this is showing the reduce in the knock so what is happening as you are seeing that we are talking that we are reducing the compression ratio we are reducing the mean effective pressure so as you can see if we reduce the compression ratio and if we reduce the mean effective pressure in that case the combustion temperature will automatically get lower if the combustion temperature is automatically getting lower it means the nox formation will be reduced why because the nox depend upon the three thing one is the retention time second is the temperature so if the temperature is lower and if the retention time means the time at which it will retain this temperature this temperature is been lower in that case the nox formation will be lower because the nox form when the temperature is maintained more than 1100 degrees celsius and in this 11 degrees celsius the nox component dissociate to form noxious substance okay so nox formation is lowered enough for engine to become imo3 tire compliant in a dual fuel mode without nox abatement technology however for second generation auto engine EZR is an integral part of a engine tuning to improve performance and lower the methane emission okay so what we are doing we are also incorporating EZR to lower the methane emission so i hope in this video you have come to know that how the nox is lower so if anybody asks you that how we are reducing the nox in a gas admission engine you should say that we are reducing the compression ratio and the mean effective pressure which ultimately result in the lower peak temperature of a combustion and which in turn lower the nox formation and if anybody say that how we are avoiding the knocking so knocking is been avoided by reducing the compression ratio and the mean effective pressure which result in a avoiding the pre ignition and hence avoiding the knocking now if anybody asks you that which cycle basically this gas admission engine follow the gas admission engine basically follow the auto cycle so this is the compression stroke this is the combustion process and this is the power stroke and this is the heat rejection expansion stroke so this is expansion this is the heat rejection this is the work and this is the compression and this is the diesel cycle so constant volume and this is the constant pressure this diesel cycle so i hope now you know that how this gas admission engine work why the knocking take place and how we are avoiding knocking and how the nox is lower in a gas admission engine if you still got doubt please do comment below we will try to reply back have a good day friend and please do subscribe and share thank you friend have a good day